Hi, this is Stu Miniman at Wikibon headquarters, and joining me is Jeff Kelly, and uh, talking about Cloudera today and their new uh, partner program that they've launched. And uh, Jeff, I was wondering if uh, you can walk us through a little bit about what Cloudera is talking about. They've been in, in the news quite a bit lately. They have. Uh, they announced a partnership with Dell last week, of course, uh, and they followed that up this week with a, an announcement about a larger partner program. Uh, it kind of contains two, uh, from my perspective, two big um, points that we want to talk about. First is their the first ever Hadoop certification program. Um, essentially it will allow software hardware vendors to certify that their technology is compatible with uh, Cloudera's Apache Hadoop distribution. Um, the second part of course is uh, the Partner Solution Spotlight. Essentially uh, it's going to allow vendors to, uh, partners and um, other vendors to basically show off on Cloudera's site how they work with Hadoop, Hadoop distributions, um, and kind of uh, basically educate the uh, market a little bit about it, what you can do with some of uh, the more traditional technologies you might have in your existing infrastructure along with Hadoop. Okay, great. So, so let, let's dig in a little bit to the certification program because mm -hmm. uh, we've been talking about for probably the last year that really Cloudera uh, really is to Hadoop uh, what Red Hat is to the open source Linux community. Mm -hmm. uh, and when, when I look at typically open source, it's about making sure things get into the open source stream and that we put together uh, you know, really the package, which is what how Cloudera has had for a while. So first of all, what, what's, what's different about this certification? Well, I mean, essentially, this is going to uh, basically Cloudera is trying to put their stamp on, in this case, literally a cert certification stamp um, on Hadoop. They want to be the go-to Hadoop provider, and one way to do that um, is to with the certification program. Essentially, they want to get to the point where an organization considering implementing Hadoop is only going to do so with. Cloudera's distribution, along with technologies that are certified. Right, so, so this is beyond their distribution. This is uh, complementary products and solutions that are going to get, as you said, their logo certified. So if we, we actually look, uh, they've got on their website here, um, it's the, the certified technology program uh, to, to make things simpler. So um, what uh, I found this really interesting is if you look at kind of Linux, uh, traditionally you had things that go into open source, but if you talk about a certification program, it really sounds more like uh, building an ecosystem. Uh, and Cloudera is looking to put themselves uh, at the center of this ecosystem. So it reminds me much more of what Microsoft did with Microsoft mm -hmm. Certification Program and more recently VMware has done. Uh, so uh, this isn't just, you know, some open source, you know, servicing and packaging, but, you know, trying to build, you know, lots of companies, get lots of contributors and build mm -hmm. bigger solutions that, that can be more robust in, in, in giving companies lots of options and, and lots mm -hmm. of things that they can build on. Absolutely, and as you said, with Cloudera at the center of that, of that ecosystem. Uh, I think it's a pretty smart move on their part. They are really the leading distribution, Hadoop distribution vendor at this point. Um, they, they comply completely with the Apache open source uh, project. In fact, they are pretty much the leading contributor to the Apache open source uh, Hadoop project. In a way, you could say Cloudera is the Apache Hadoop project. Yeah, so, so, so I guess if I tease that out a little bit, if I if I think about Linux, uh, Linux mm -hmm. tends to be subservient to the hardware uh, that that it goes on. Uh, so what I mean by that is Red Hat has a distribution, but they really rely on the servers that it's uh, mm -hmm. it's going on or plugging underneath the hypervisor. So uh, it sounds like really Hadoop is is much more of a software ecosystem and a much more robust and, and large software ecosystem than, than even Linux is. Yeah, I think I would agree with that absolutely. Okay, so I, I guess two, two questions on that. First is, um, does Cloudera really have the chops to be the leader in, in this community, and, and you know who's going to listen to them as the leader? I mean, is it just mm -hmm. a bunch of little startups, or you know how how, how are they uh, working with the broader ecosystem? Uh, well, I you know it's not just startups that, that are they're partnering with. We mentioned Dell, of course, last week, um, but there were some other big players on their partner list. Um, if you go to that. Uh, partner Spotlight, you can see uh, IBM's on there, IBM Natiza, uh, Teradata, um, then you've got some players on the application layer, uh, the analytics layer like Ativio, um, and then of course you've got some of the more Hadoop pure plays, I should, I, as I call them, the Karma Spheres on there, Datamere. So they really, they're really um, embracing you know all manner of partners at this point. Um, you know, I think it'll be interesting. I think that the Spotlight page is going to be a really good resource for uh, end users considering getting getting involved with Hadoop um, as they begin to explore it. 
uh, Cloudera's website, you, you know, maybe they're thinking that they hear about Cloudera's leading distribution, they're poking around, they're doing some research, and they say, oh, I see Teradata here on this list. I've got a Teradata data warehouse. Let's see. They might give you some ideas uh, of how you can start utilizing Hadoop. And that's, you know, really what Cloudera is trying to do here is, is spur more adoption. Yeah, no, 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 that that's really interesting. I I, I like the point that you're saying is it, it's really that uh, t two way street on the ecosystem. Uh, people that want to learn about Hadoop probably are going to go to Cloudera. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to learn about other technologies, and, and uh, as we were talking about earlier, uh, they're going to say, "Oh, you know, I'm already working with Teradata. Uh, you know, on some of my other projects. Here's how it ties into what we're doing." Uh, and then they'll learn about some of the new players like uh, Tibio or Karmasphere mm -hmm. uh, in, in this space. So, so pretty interesting. So um, now we're talking about the spotlights and, and, mm -hmm. and the partners. What else, uh, what is Cloudera doing to, to kind of help those partners in, in the ecosystem? Uh, well, as part of the program, they do have quite a, quite a few resources available to them to, to actually get to the point where they're ready for certification. Um, I don't know if you want to go to that page, but essentially kind of uh, resources around training, services, um, how to integrate your technology with uh, Cloudera's Apache Hadoop distribution. Um, so they're supporting them that way. Of course, they've got uh, the Spotlight page gives them a, a real a good platform, I think, uh, to show off what they can do and, and where they can take Hadoop together. Okay, so uh, I, I guess we're at the point talking about you know education mm -hmm. and customers learning about this. Where are we with Hadoop adoption, and mm -hmm. uh, you know what, what's what's holding customers back? Where are they along the, this this path? Right. Well, you know, Hadoop is a is a relatively young and and developing technology, um, and as such, it's you know in terms of the adoption curve, it's still at the low end. We're just kind of getting to the point where uh, maybe maybe just starting to cross the threshold from early adopters to creeping into the mainstream. Um, but but there are a few things holding it back, and, and one of course is the uh, lack of skilled uh, developers and database administrators with Hadoop experience. And, and that's also the data scientists, I would assume, right? And then of course yes, and that's kind of the uh, infrastructure level, and then kind of the next level up would be the data scientists actually doing some of the analytics work. Um, and both those sets of workers there are, are in high demand and un unfortunately short supply at this point. No. Um, which kind of leads to another, you know, another offering is the whole services angle here. Um, I think services is going to play a key role in the adoption of Hadoop, especially in the short term, uh, you know, first two, three, five years, because there just aren't enough trained Hadoop professionals for every organization to have a full, you know, Hadoop staff. Yeah, it's just so not going to Sounds work. like we need a stimulus program for the government to start training people up on well, uh, being big data scientists. You know what? That, that might not be a bad idea because there's definitely a demand for it. Um, it is a pretty complex uh, skill set you need to uh, to learn. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how, how easy it would be. It, it, but It's, uh, it's, it's a long-term uh, investment. It's a long-term investment, yeah. but uh, in the meantime, there are services vendors out there. A lot of the cloud area has some of their own services, of course. Um, but then you've got some other uh, services vendors like Think uh, Big Analytics, um, and I think those types of vendors are going to play an increasing role. Uh, I know Cloudera in particular mentioned to uh, to me during a, a recent interview, they don't see services as their business. They they want to see a thriving kind of third-party services ecosystem okay. develop. So, so that, that that's interesting to see where you know Cloudera looks that they can make money uh, on the distribution and where they're partnering, and that's why I think it makes sense on this ecosystem and building out the partners. So let, let's spend a minute or two talking about the services angle on this, sure. Um, because uh, you know really customers, if we look at, they need to be educated. Mm -hmm. Cloudera is doing that. You know, you and Wikibon and uh, we're trying. Angle are definitely trying to help educate where we can. Mm -hmm. uh, but really, we see services as a critical component mm -hmm. for rolling out any new technology, and obviously, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Hadoop fits into there. So uh, can you give us your, your thoughts as to uh, how that fits? Right. Well, I mean, as I said, it's a very uh, complex technology to uh, deploy, administer, uh, administer uh, manage, um, and that's really what's holding back a lot of organizations. They just don't know how to do it. They just don't have the skills. So that's where the services players come in. Um, you know, the technology itself, you could go to Cloudera and you don't necessarily have to purchase their enterprise edition. You could purchase the, or I should say, use the community edition or go straight to Apache Hadoop and download for free. Uh, the, they're a free uh, open source distribution. But then you've got to actually get it up and running, integrate it with the rest of your uh, IT infrastructure. Uh, that's where the services come in. 
And as I said, I think we're going to see more third-party vendors who are focused on big data and Hadoop in particular come, come to the fore. And then your traditional uh, services vendors are, I think, starting to understand the market potential here. Uh, there could be a really, really good opportunity for services vendors because this has the potential to be a billion-dollar market, and a big chunk of that is going to be services. Yeah. Okay, so so Jeff, I, I guess looking forward, you know, what are you keeping an eye on? What's coming in the near mm -hmm. future? Where, where should pe people be watching for what's coming next with Hadoop? Well, you know, it's it's the continued evolution of the technology to to you know uh, the the goal eventually is you know an enterprise ready, uh, stable, um, easy to deploy and manage uh, technology. We're a ways from that, um, but you know every little uh, step we're we're seeing like this from Cloudera with these partnerships, um, we're getting ever closer to that point. Still have, has a ways to go, but I think we're going to see uh, some more distribution vendors probably crop up. Um, we've, you know, there are other vendors out there. IBM is uh, working with Hadoop. Um, you've got MapR and EMC Greenplum working together on a more of a closed proprietary version, um, which is interesting kind of tangent. And we'll see where that goes. Um, we've got, you know, there are other options like LexisNexis has their uh, HPCC, uh, big data processing technology, which is kind of developed in parallel to Hadoop um, within LexisNexis. So there's a lot of, there's still a lot of, the market still really needs to work itself out. And uh, it's, it'll be interesting to see where it goes. But I think uh, Cloudera right now is in a really good position. Yeah. Um, they've really established themselves, I think, as the leading distribution vendor at this point. And this, and being the first vendor with a certification program, I think, uh, certainly helps them uh, establish themselves as the go to. Uh, Cloud okay, so uh, the, the, the yeah. go-to Hadoop distribution vendor. Yeah, so it's definitely a nascent, uh, highly fragmented market. Hadoop's really trying to take the reins here. Uh, so uh, event-wise, uh, uh, we've actually uh, mm -hmm. we're going to be having the cube at VMworld and looking That's to have true. a big data panel while we're there. Mm -hmm. Looking um, forward to that. Seeing the intersection of virtualization and cloud with big data. Yeah, that's a whole other topic. We could spend hours talking about that. Look, look forward really to that. And then uh, next month, we've also got the, the big Strata conference big in New York City. So. Yep, that's coming up. We'll be there as well. So looking definitely, I, I know you will you will be there and uh, looking forward to seeing there. Any mm -hmm. uh, other final pieces or notes uh, you, you want to leave our watchers with? Well, certainly, you know, we've got lots of resources up on wikibon.org. I, I encourage you to check out. Um, We've also got uh, SiliconAngle.com is is covering the day-to-day -day news around the big data space, so that's definitely a, the go-to place to kind of get stay up to date on the, the latest happening. So uh, we'll throw up some links on our site to uh, all these different resources we have, so you can check them out. Okay, thank you, Jeff, for joining us. Uh, appreciate the the update on Cloudera and Hadoop, and uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you.